Alright, will you believe me when I tell you that this was supposed to be an Imperator video? This was supposed to be a new campaign in Imperator. Invictus did get an update, and no, 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 I'm not saying that the median game is broken. The median game is actually fine. The campaign is actually okay. The save works perfectly fine as long as I use the later version of the mod. But the latest version of the mod, 1.9 I believe, there is a bit of an issue with one of the mods. The INR mod is not working, so I just, I, I can't do anything. It just won't, it just crashes the game. Summary, long story short, the median campaign is fine. It's just that I was starting a new campaign, and with a new update, it don't want to start straight up. Recently, I got the idea of a series. I made the series where I just really just choose any nation I want, or it could be suggested as well. I just want to have a nice casual campaign series where I just start as a nation and try to become Emperor of the World. That's it. It could be in one video or it could be over multiple episodes. Who knows? It just really depends on the campaign. So for the first nation I've been playing, I mean, you, you've you seen the title on Thunmail, you already know. Of course, let's start off with the history. When the time of the Carolingian Empire came to an end, its western half, known as West Francia, emerged as its own political entity. A branch of the Carolingian dynasty continued to rule these lands until 987, when the son of a powerful Frankish duke was elected as the successor of the last Carolingian king, Louis V. This man was Hugh Capet, the originator of the Capetian dynasty, which still rules over the, these great lands that now bear the name of France. Fun fact, even in the modern day, the royal family of Spain is a descendant of the Capetian dynasty. They are of the Bourbon dynasty, I believe, or Bourbon house, I should say, which is a branch of the Capetian dynasty. Uh, so that's something to know, I guess. <laughs> the Capetians brought a period of prosperity and stability in a largely decentralized state, which soon began to slowly unite around its newly established feudal system during the feudal revolution of the 11th century. That's one thing about France. Throughout most of history, well, pretty much all of its history, uh, at least medieval from the 9th century to at least the early modern era, it was slowly growing in power, even though the borders, like on paper, the borders were France, right? The borders were pretty much solid. But underneath, they, the French kings did not really have that much power. It was really the other various dukes and counts under the French monarch that had a lot more lands and a lot more power. That's why maps with France that looks like this is not really that bad of a map. It's not wrong in any way. This is more or less what France would have looked like at the time. Everything's on historical, of course. Let us go. All right, here we are. We have King Louis VI. The only lands currently under our control are Calais, Paris, Orléans, and Poitiers. I'm gonna butcher these these pronunciations for sure. Um, just be wary of that. I'm going to attempt to pronounce them correctly, but it is going to be a bad attempt. King Louis is a marshal, but he's also very good at economics. Let's first, of course, before we do anything, look at our relations. We have our vassals here we should look at. We have Aquitaine, Anjou, Burgundy, Champagne, and Flanders as our vassals. And I think we are trading with Lorraine. Okay, yes, we are. Relations. Brittany likes us. Some of our vassals don't like us. England doesn't like us. Germany doesn't like us. This, this, this makes sense. Brittany, okay. Pretty neutral with England. We're already friends. We will have a trade and non-aggression pact, of course. Having them as a vassal eventually in the future would be nice. I wish there was a way to diplomatically vassalize. That should definitely be something in this game. Non-aggression pact, good. Tulu. Trade. Non-aggression, love to see it. England's friendly with a lot of people. Given their history, I'm going to get good relations with the Scots. That actually made relations with England good, which honestly... If, if we're going to have good relations, let's have good relations. Let's, you know, what I want to do here at the beginning, I want to make sure my economy is very strong because I know I can make a very strong economy. So we want to get as much trade deals, non-aggression packs as possible, and then we can focus on whatever happens afterwards. But we want to have very good relations with Scotland because I feel like relations with England will go down at some point. 
Wow, Aquitaine and Tulu hate each other. Yeah, that's something I have to worry about too. I need to worry about the relations of my vassals as well with others. Because I can't make friends with the enemies of my vassals. Because then I can't actually protect my vassals against them. Yeah, we have a non-aggression pact and trade agreement with Tulu. I think because of what I've done, I screwed myself over. Because Tulu may just declare war on Aquitaine. So what I'm going to do actually is... I'm going to create a defensive pact, I think, very early on against Tulu. Because if they attack anyone in my defensive pact, then they are, are also attacking me. So it's a defensive war. So I don't lose any crown authority or anything. I think that's a good idea. Because otherwise, if Tulu were to attack Aquitaine, Aquitaine will call me in. But since I have a non-aggression pact and a trade agreement, my crown authority will tank. I might have made a mistake there because I, at the beginning, I just should not have made any agreements with Tulu. But I've already put myself in a situation, so I'm just going to live with it. Oh, I can't even call my vassal, and that's crazy. Oh, I'm screwed. It would just be me and Barcelona in this. That's fine. We need to assign governors, of course. We have four crop farms. Oh, we're going to make so much food in Paris. Right, villages and castles in Calais. Leon has a monastery. Okay, Poitiers has pretty much a little bit of everything. When it comes to specialization, I think Poitiers is going to be the military city this is gonna be i guess religious this will be pop and then this would be food so we have pretty good start here pretty good mixed start here with our towns progress we are the closest to which is interesting we want commerce immediately so let's just get actually marketplace first so i can get these other things let's get started get ins for pops and commerce the next, do I want to get courthouses? I think we get courthouses next for even more commerce. Stability is good as well. So we got to save for 1,200. The next we will build, can't get irrigation. We'll get crop farming and then irrigation. Want to maximize the food output as quickly as possible. Then we can work on flax, I guess, just for money. And then we get an army. In order to expand trade, we can export food. Oh, food export is going to be huge for me. I can do that right now, honestly. Forgot to deal with governance. Right, so merchant go there. I would like to put a marshal in Portier, but for now I don't have a marshal. I don't have another one, I should say. But I'll put a merchant here and then I'll put you there. For now, I'll rearrange it once I get more knights. I think we go crop farming, then irrigation, because that'll be one, two, and three. Then we'll have barracks. No, we want barracks in Poitiers, because that's the most optimal place, right? Did that just spawn there, or am I just blind? I didn't realize Paris already has monasteries and castles. I think I just was so focused on the four crop farms. There's already castles here, so I guess I could put barracks in here. I might as well. Why not build barracks in your capital? Brittany Masses. Nope. That's a no for me. Span trade with Flanders, of course. That only- Wait, only five? Why was that only five? Did something make it cheaper? Why is it only five? One thing I should also focus on is the Pope. I completely forgot about that. Oh my. Only because you're the Pope. Only because you're the Pope. I should be having high relations with the Pope. So, first of all, I don't get excommunicated. And secondly, so... Um... Just because, I guess. I need to make sure I get a very high level cleric as well so he can become a cardinal and also then become the Pope. We have a princess. We already have children, don't we? You already had a son, Prince Philip, and he's going into Marshall. Alright, irrigation. This is a campaign, a series where we're going to see a lot more development, I guess. You're going to see a lot more development because I don't actually have a goal like a conquest goal, like a formidable just me casually playing the game, trying to become an emperor of the worlds, and uh, that's why you're going to see a lot more building of the economy and whatnot. Because it's not really a rush, you know? But Tulu has to join their war. Oh, no. Political view. <laughs> Damn it. I won't join that. But Aquitaine's going to ask for help. God damn it. I've, yep, there it is. The consequences of my actions. I was too quick. I was moving too fast, man. I was not paying attention to the geopolitics of the region. That's what I get. They're going to call me into this war, and I have to help them. Do I lose one of Crown Authority? Or... Because... Okay. All in all, right? Breaking a non-aggression pact is two or maybe three. And breaking a trade agreement is one. So it's... I'll either lose three or four. Not helping your 
vassal in war, I think you lose one? Or maybe two. What would be good, right, is getting a cleric. I should get a cleric because there's a chance that he can get the uh, attempt peace thing. Uh, but attempt, attempt peace mission to um, arrange peace. That's what it is. To uh, stop warring states. We don't get anything special, right, as France. We get men at arms. Philippe, you can get sea trapped, though. I, uh, speaking of which, I should probably get something sea trapped. Sure, we can also get Siegecraft uh, King Tradition, which I think I'll just get immediately. I'll get it right now, sure. Thing is, Light Infantry in general is just bad. It's like really bad. I think we definitely want to get Feudal Knights and Men in Arms quickly. As France, it just makes sense. Also, Crossbowmen. What do we want to focus on? Oh, we can, be we can make so much things. That's a thing. Um, Let's just focus on one thing. Let's focus on our capital at the very beginning. Let's focus on making as much food as possible so That's then we can focus on the right. exporting of that food. Since we have this much food, honestly, and also so much pops, I'm gonna get stables. I'm gonna get cavalry a lot earlier than I usually do. What's what's going on? Oh, you gotta stop that, man. You really gotta stop that. Oh, you really gotta stop that. Why is Flanders at war? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, there they are, England. We have a trade agreement. Let's see what happens here, actually. I think I will... Um... I think I think I will lose Crown Authority. You're also over Germany, but I don't think that's your war. That is your war. Why the hell are you over Germany? Did you declare war on Germany? Are you stupid? Why have you done that? Okay, the merchants just didn't like that. But I guess because it's a defensive war, I didn't lose anything. Because I swear last time, wasn't it when I was... I, I don't know. If you guys remembered... Whenever they added the vassal things, I think it was in my Salticate campaign, yeah. I, th I lost the Crown Authority doing something. Great. Or a great power. We can immediately get crossbowmen. I mean, I make so much food, I got so much population. I can get, like, the strongest units, really. <laughs> more siege attack, they're better against cavalry. More salvos, more defense. They have more resilience, they at least don't have negative resilience. Yeah, they're overall just better. Whoa, 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 that's very fast for them to have such a strong army. And apparently they're at war with Leinster because, yep, they are indeed at war with Leinster. So it take me a while to build this army. Where are you going? It's a peasant army, so I'm okay with fighting this. I think I should be fine with this one. I don't need to lead this. But you know what? It's the first, it's the first battle of the campaign. It's the first battle of the series. I think we should fight this. And it's, of course, a classic battle, classic duel. The French versus the English. Let's go. It's been a while since I've actually played a battle in this game, so... Battle has commenced. Immediately ran. Yikes, that was fast. <laughs> I mean, it was just peasants. I need uh, to use my money on my vassal because I need you to have an army. It doesn't seem like you have an army. They're my vassal. I feel like I should have intel on their situation. I feel like I should see what's in their cities. But anyways, I'm going to give you gold so you can maybe get some mercenaries or get an army. You have no population. <laughs> and Flanders has made it to the Isles, okay. Oh, I actually never got courthouses. I really thought I did. <laughs> can we get some royal marriages? Preferably with someone that would be beneficial. I wish like personal unions were a thing. So like I could vassalize someone through a marriage because like there's really no point in marrying these one province miners because I don't get anything out of it. I guess I'll do it to Burton improve relations. Burgundy doesn't like me much, so I guess I'll do that. I know this sets me up in the future to being attacked by them, but uh, I see it as a investment. Lorraine offers marriage. Sure, that might be a mistake, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. You see, if Burgundy tries to claim land for me, right, and they declare war on me, Champagne joined. Sire, our enemies have gained a new ally. What? That is something I did not expect. I should get another army. I should bring my son out here. 
There's a prince. Oh my god! If it weren't for that terrible marshal, dude, honestly, this guy might have to be the next ruler. As a ruler, right, I would want him to be a merchant, but as a knight, I think I'd rather him be a cleric. Because he could be the next pope. I'll make him a cleric. Let's get the sulfur for the population growth Our next. And then I'll start developing another city. Been... For now, I'm going to go for Run. Gwyneth. Okay, I thought that was another one of my vassals that joined. It's oh my god. The world at Are you okay, Aquitaine? They're not being seized down yet. Wait, what? Oh, that, I was looking at the wrong one. Oh, okay. In fact, I do want to increase the chances. It's going to make it more expensive, but I want to increase the chances, so I need to make sure he's a higher level. Who wants us to lead a crusade against Mecklenburg? Oh my god, I just now saw that. Wow, that would have been so bad. Run, 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 run. Oh, I'm about to get caught here. Yikes, that's so close. What a bozo. Mecklenburg, right? Mecklenburg, Mecklenburg. No, I can't. I, I'm sorry. I actually just can't. No, 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 I'm actually just not gonna do that. It's not a good idea. I'll lose an army that's not worth it. Stack wipe. Oh, oh, I did not mean to click that button. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so stupid. That was incredibly stupid. I did not mean to do that. I actually did not mean to do that. That's so much religion gone. Oh my, wow. What a... Oh, it's gone anyways. I can't, I can't do it anymore. Did they end the war? Ah! Good, good, good. They're in the war. Let's get that sulfur I've been wanting. Let's work on viticulture. Why not? I'm just gonna just click buildings at random. I'm not gonna worry about like what's the right building to to build next. I'm just gonna just randomly promise. click. I need books. Oh, I need my cleric in here. That's what I need. I'm gonna put my cleric in here. Get some more books and religion. I also need to build a church or two in here, or or just one. An enemy is besieging I don't know one why you've towns. done that. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I don't want to go into England. I don't care about subduing England or anything. But I also don't want to peace out, because I don't want the war to be turned over on the f on Flanders. So for now, I'm just gonna sit here while I defend the coast. And of course, I'm going to develop my economy. I need to build a church and then I'll deal with the viticulture and whatnot. Vassal is requesting our support against Aragon. I have to accept. All right, it seems like my son will have to go down there and deal with that by himself. I need to keep myself up here. Oh, I forgot I'm a war champagne. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Oh, we lost Rowan. That's actually perfect because then once I take, once I destroy the rebellion, I can take it back without disorder. We have a defense pact against Tulu, right? I don't know why I do. They're not going to attack me, so I should just get rid of this. It's completely useless. <laughs> it's a completely useless thing. Yeah, they're not going to attack me. Like some journal war. <laughs> cool. Oh, I need barrels. I need woodworking then. Jet docks in for the commerce. Now I can use you finally, trade with the Papal States. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, why have you declared over on Germany? How much are my vassals paying me? A good amount, 54, that's a good amount of my economy. I do need to build a barracks here in Poitiers, so my son can actually replenish over here. There's been literally no wars going on over here, there's no, been no battles. Oh, they're with the Amurvids, that's why. Ooh, I can actually get some marriage with... Tulu, that'd be nice. I believe, right, how it works. I don't know if it's a chance or if it depends on who dies first. My logic here is, right, I don't know if this is how this works, but my logic here is, he's old, I'm an adult. If he dies before me and I have a royal marriage with him, I think I get the chance to inherit from him, right? And I think that's the same vice versa. If I were to die first and we have a royal marriage, he would get a chance to claim something from me. So, all right. I'm surprised he actually accepted that because he's old. Usually the AI doesn't want to do that. Hopefully that was sound logic. Oh my God, did they just end the war? Oh, 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 oh. that's very lucky for me. Ah, was I right? Oh my God, I was right. Oh my God, I think my logic was right. We can claim Cremont. Uh, surely they accept. They like me a lot. They have a lot of friends. But they like me a lot. Surely they accept, right? Wow. I actually just did that. What? Oh. Oh, it's so developed. Oh my god. Thank you, Tulu, for doing all the work. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy, honestly. Uh, per village. Stability per village. Plus two can do stability for, per village. Yeah, let's put the spy in there then. I'm gonna get rid of this church. 
Because then I could just get minerals. Because I already have a market square in here, so I could just get the minerals next. We're sieging down Riem. Riem? Riem? Re Re I don't know how you pronounce that, but uh, we're sieging it down. I have so much people in my bed. I, I don't want to be in this war anymore, man. I, I'm in a lot of wars. This is too chaotic for me. All right, I think it's time to switch you out now. Oh, oh my god, you're dead. You're just dead, bud. You're you're dead. Once I take champagne, I'm going to peace out with England because I don't want to be in this war anymore. Paul enjoy the war. Cool, dude. Great. Oh my god. What? <laughs> uh, that's a big responsibility. Scotland? How did you take this? For now, I'll decline, because I still do want to get... I forgot to activate this. Finally, we can get the wine. Export food. Absolutely. I'm going to always take that, because I make so much food. Boom, there we go. Now, England, would you like to peace out? No way they accept. I just... Really? I legitimately just vassalized England. I might need to get a tradition that helps with my stability. Which is medicine, helps with kingdom happiness, and then leadership for stability, because I think I'm going to be in a constant state of war because of my vassals. First try! I have this diplomat now. What do I do with this diplomat? I guess I'll create a defense pact against Germany. That's really my only threat. I can't really invite anyone then. Because I can't invite my vassals, it seems. Unless, like, can I? Oh, I can! Wait, so why couldn't I invite Ecotain last time? I'm not sure. I guess Burgundy? Even though you're friendly with Germany, but still, you're gonna want to join this. Aragon literally has done nothing. We're, I'm currently at war with Aragon. They have an army. They've done nothing. They have not at all invaded Aquitaine. I don't know why this war exists. Was this like a miscommunication or something? Like, are we really not at war at all, actually? Oh. Oh, I... Oh, okay, well. <laughs> sure. Let's get medicine. That's just a no-brainer. Top three, of course, as you guys know, and I've just died. Except, except, sovereign, and no one is claiming. Good. England offers a marriage. Uh, it's a risk that I'm willing to take. Actually, you're venerable. <laughs> why would you? Why would you make that decision? All right, let's go back to the economy side of things. We have a lot of resources, but we can still make more. We have spirits. We have wine. We get some raisins. That'll be viticulture completely done. What is going on? What is this? How have you managed to do this? Oh my god, if he dies, dude, it's over. England's gone if he dies. <laughs> what? How have you managed this? Rebellions, kingdom stability, nearby rebel. Oh, England's completely falling apart. I mean, I, I literally can't do anything about that. I mean, I can. I actually could. But, I don't feel like it. Rebellion can attack us now. I don't think they're going to attack us. I don't like putting an effort into things that I don't really care about. <laughs> you know what? We'll just let it brew. We'll just let it sit. They won't, they won't bother us. It's England. Who cares about England? Lorraine and Flanders are at war. Why is Lorraine and Flanders at war? What is going on? Oh, man, Lorraine. Don't do this. Don't do this, Lorraine. Hmm. Okay, it's uh spilling over a bit. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing can't go horribly wrong at all. Trade center moved. Bordeaux to Orléans. Oh, they're all the richest trade centers. Really, this is the richest. Let's get siege workshops. So we can actually get some siege weapons. Then next, I kind of I want to get royal armories. So we can get men at arms. We can get it pretty quickly. Once we. Oh. <laughs> Against the Pechenegs, man! Dude! Uh, yeah, okay, I'll accept it, whatever. Oh, my king is leading it? That's not good. At the very least, if he wins, I can get these these guys. Why can't I get Norman Cavalry? Unless it's... Is it region locked? It is region locked. That <laughs> does make sense. Uh, because it's my king, I, I wish I could lead the armies. Like, lead the, the battles, at least. I want to fight the battles. I want to fight the Crusades, but... Can't really. You need help? Hmm? Oh! You want help against Nottinghamshire. They don't have an army right now. We could destroy them. I guess I kind of do have to help you. But... If you do get conquered... 
That's uh, not my problem. <laughs> Wait, you don't even have. Wait, I'm sorry. How are you? Then the war's gonna end. You can't actually fight. You don't. Ha you don't hold anything. Why? Why have you called me into this war? Am I just gonna be a? It's their war, so it would just peace out, right? Once I once they cease to exist. Because they will cease to exist pretty soon. Get some oil, please. And then I would like to get Royal Armory. Alright, now we got the oils, we can get furniture. And that's woodworking completely done. Learning Office is a non-aggression pact. I, I would like to offer you to stop killing my vassal. No, we will not have a non-aggression pact. We have surrendered yep. To the enemy. Yep. Our crown yep. Or right, so, um... <laughs> England's gone. I should probably work on improving relations with the great powers, right? If I want to eventually become member of the world, I probably should do that. I'm actually not even that far away. Let's get rid of you. We can have my... Did I just destroy the entire army? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I just destroyed the entire army. I just suspended the entire army. Okay, well, it's fine. You know what? I need something to spend my money on. Get charity, stability, pop growth, more pops, more influence, more stability, more stability. Um, influence is good for becoming emperor of the world, so probably should go for that. Flanders left because they no longer exist. We have a new enemy. That's for sure. Look at the amount. That scared the shit out of me. I need to use these books to get charity. Looks like the Crusaders are going to take Yash. This is where I want to start making agreements, actually. Let's see, Kiev is very far away. They're very strong, though. I'm not sending you 7,000 gold. Germany, ah, yikes. That's gonna be yikes for me, honestly. Papal States, Byzantium. Sure, that works. Can now get men at arms. Which is something I will take over the Heavy Spearman. Solely because the melee attack is actually a lot. I'll still keep a Spear unit. Lorraine. Oh, shit. Oh, man. That's a very... That's a... <laughs> that's a... Not, that's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. I, uh, Dude, can we just have an non-aggression pact? I, if you don't want to go to war with me, just... So I don't know, you're actually back to me, Scotland, because I think, yeah, Scotland's the leader of it. So I assume if they like me more, they'll just disband the defensive pact. Only one more city to go. Will they be able to take it, though? I, I don't think they'll be able to take that. Brittany manages to attack Scotland, but you're in the defensive pact against them. That's bait! You're baiting me! Why are you war on Anjou? Did Anjou declare war on you? No, you declared war on my vassal. That's a perfect excuse to conquer you. I guess we're going for Brittany next. That is a st I almost lost my balance, dude. 47 pops. That's a crazy... Dude, can you explain this to me? Four castles, four villages, five coastal settlements. What? Where is your army, my guy? What is that? What kind of army is that? I guess we go castle to castle because honestly, dude, I don't think I'm be able to just take that. Our merchant's opinion has I have such low morale the moment I enter. Actually, I'm just going to enter first to see how much morale I, I lose. Oh my god, man. That's crazy. Oh, what? He's actually doing it. Oh. Wow, it's just in time. <laughs> what the fuck is it, army man? I'm gonna have to fight this. Oh, what? Huh? What? Where did the where did the peasants go? <laughs> but where did the peasants go? Oh, man. That's nah, not winnable. That's simply just not winnable. That is actually not winnable. Oh, don't you dare. Can I get allies? Help, 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 help. Yo, what's happening? What's happening? Guys, what's going on? Are these men-at-arms absolutely destroying? Oh, my God. 
to help out here. Battle's over anyways. Yep. Two stack wipes. Okay. Why aren't you just sitting around the place just doing nothing? Honestly, I I can't take anything from, from Brittany. I literally cannot put that city under siege. I can. I, I actually just can, but... I, I don't really want to put in the effort because there's so much. Oh my... Dude, honestly? Would you just like to be my vassal? No, no, no. I don't want to end that yet because I actually just want to... I want to take Bordeaux. I do want to take Bordeaux. If anything, the piece that I want is conquering Bordeaux and vassalizing Brittany. That's what I want. It's actually, it actually worked. I actually did it. I actually did it. What? He's only gone and done it. King Philippe the Crusader of the Pechenegs. He completed Shred Pechenegs. And I have Podolia as my vassal now. If I'm gonna be honest, I don't want this as a vassal. This is a complete liability to me. Because if they get attacked by anyone around them, I'm not gonna really be able to help them. At all, actually. Because I cannot supply my armies. So, I'm just gonna, first of all, trespass through all these nations and get back home. I don't think I'll be able to make it back home before I die. But I'm gonna make the attempt. Oh my god, I actually made it back home. I'm... I, I cannot believe I'm still alive. Do you have this piece? No. Would you like to be vassal? I guess not. What if I ask nicely? There we go. So worth on you, but literally nothing has happened in that war. Scotland's defense back is gone, okay. Ah, finally. Just need to continue to improve relations. Also, I just need to really knock out Germany under great power. I really want to. There are four armies. I should get a third army. Before the Clintus War. I was about to declare this war. Diplomacy is the only way. Like right after I die, but then yes. they have four armies, so. This will solely just be a defense army. Should I get two trebuchets? He has siegecraft three. Two trebuchets would be insane. So that's exactly why I'm going to get two trebuchets. Oh, fuck, I forgot to get rid of him. This is exactly why I wanted to get rid of him. This is exactly why. They're worried Byzantium. Medolia. Okay, I will accept. I'll accept, I'll accept. Um, also, can I just get rid of you now? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now it's time to go to war. Can I get a cardinal man? How do I, how do I, come on. Damn. Yeah, they need to be level 15. Like, I have no reason to do this, by the way. I have no reason to attack anyone. I could just sit here and just wait and increase my relations with everyone. But I want to use my army. I built up this super strong army and I'm going to use it. Lorraine is massive. A massive ass of Germany. What if you just... Come on, turned on them. Yes. The Pope is going to not like me. But... Whatever. Our nobility's opinion. My nobility also hated that decision. That was very much disliked. Whoa. Huh? Why does uh, everyone all of a sudden like Germany? Hello? They have camel archers. Where did you get that from? Oh my god, the speed at which this is going down because we have two trebuchets. Oh, that's a large army there. Oh, that's a very oh oh my god they're so fast wow the AI is very bad at judgment because they are not going to win that oof wow they have no population by the way so they can't replenish that army i will save you swabians never mind never mind never mind no i won't i won't i won't i won't i won't i lied okay so if it's taking me on what exactly do i do now i'm just gonna peace out imagine if i vassalize them this game is insane, dude. Wait. 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 Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just inherited all their vassals. I had no idea if you vassalize someone and they also have vassals, that you also inherit their vassals. I don't even know if I want all these vassals, I'm gonna be honest. Savoy is a good vassal. I don't- I don't even know why I did this. <laughs> why did I do that? I'm gonna help- I'm gonna have to help all these guys in war, too. That's the worst part. I guess now, we just worry about getting relations up. So... 
let's start sending gifts and stuff around and let's end this video. Poland hates us for some reason. I don't know why they hate us. We defeated Germany. Like, why would you hate us? I'm looking at this map. I don't want Germany as a vassal anymore. <laughs> I actually don't. But it's actually a very good strategy to, to do if you want to just take vassals from them. That's actually a very smart strategy. Because look at this map, right? With the relations, I don't want Germany as a vassal because they're gonna attack. Get, get, they're gonna get attacked by Poland and Sweden. They're already at war with Sweden, but it will happen again eventually. And then Lorraine will no doubt attack them. Swabia will. Pretty much everyone will attack them. No one likes them. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of them. I think that's a good idea. I think I'm just gonna get rid of all the vassals that I don't border because honestly, I just don't want them. It's gonna be way too hard to protect them. But now, at the very least, Germany's been completely dismantled. We can almost get a Cardinal. I think now we can get a Cardinal. He's at 15, so eventually he'll become a Cardinal. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. Why are you so stubborn? Oh my god, I'm dead! We have a diplomat, actually. That's, that's perfect. W where was my army stationed? I completely forgot. It just disappeared. I was sitting there the whole time. Oh my, my brain, my brain, my brain, my brain, my brain. I don't know what's going on. We need more influence. So if we can get something that increases our influence, that'd be cool. Oh, the rhetoric, absolutely what we need. All right, let's look at this real quick. Against the Romans, who are massive, we only have two. So let's just see what that does. It also increases plus 20 per every governor that has rhetoric that that has a castle eight that went up to eight. Oh, okay hungry no a glorious royal wedding okay i'll have to settle for germany because uh hungry likes them so i'm gonna make sure i have a better relation with hungry germany is also still a great power so i guess it helps I'm lost, man. What do I do? Small from their perspective, they expect to overwhelm us easily. They think we cannot withstand their military power. It's the same thing for Keith. I think it's just a case of where I just need to get another army. So I'm going to do that. Ah, uh, there it is. It's slowly going up. Yeah. Yeah, I just need another army. Why do you not want non-aggression, man? Just sign the paper. You need to send gifts. That changed nothing. Oh, it didn't. It did. It did. I mean, it mean, I mean, it did. Oh my God. Okay. We need to send some gifts to. I guess. Yeah, the Byzantines. Honestly, the Romans need to. The Romans are like so stubborn. They did not want to increase their relations with me at all. Like it's just like, and nothing I do is working. They really just think they're stronger than me. Oh, they finally signed the Nagash Pact. This is so annoying. I have three full armies. Roman Emperor just died. I know he doesn't want to fucking sign a Nagash Pact. Castile has overtaken Lorraine. Oh, that's just not moving! Oh, it's not moving at all! I still do not have a cardinal, dude. If I could just become the Pope, dude, that would be so sick. How is he not a cardinal yet? How's Venice in there? How is Venice in there? What, dude? Is it influence as well? I don't know, man. At this point, I'm... <laughs> this is so much harder than I thought it would be. I'm gonna just... I'm... I'm at, at this point, I'm getting kind of kind of upset. So, I'm gonna just start attacking people. <laughs> I gotta do something, man, to make them intimidated by me. I'm not going to get this time. This is the worst possible time for this to actually go because I'm at war. I was I was winning there. If I weren't at war, I might have actually had a chance, but... It's time for you to vassalize. I've increased my power. Now are you guys willing? Mmm, there it is. It does look like they don't seem to think that they're stronger than me now. Norway? Oh, why don't you want to do anything? If I send you a gift. 
Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, having vassals helps with that fame. I think just the more fame I have relative to them overall, that should help as well. Books capacity reached. Yeah, bud. I don't know what to do with the books, though. Anything else increases influence, courtesy. I'll save up for that then. Oh, negotiation is 200. All right. Negotiation. Let's promise you. <laughs> Absolutely. Why would you make that deal? What the hell? What kind of deal is that? You know I'm just going to take land from you. I'm going to wait for Leon to, or Lorraine's leader to die. So then I can get some kind of inheritance. Scotland's on board. I can do it. I can do it, surely. But I want to wait. I want to wait. I'm, I'm, I'm being a little bit, uh, a little bit ambitious here, but a little bit greedy. But I want to wait until Lorraine's really dies, because I know I. Can. Yes, there it is. 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 Please come on now. Oh, oh yes, there it is. Oh, they hate that though. What happened to Burgundy? What's going on with Burgundy? What's, what's wrong with Burgundy? That's not Burgundy. That is not Burgundy. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go for it. Claim. I think I got it. I think I got it. I don't 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 got it. Oh no, I don't got it. Oh no, I don't got it. I don't got it. Oh my god, I don't got it. Oh, oh, oh. I got it. Oh my god. Oh, I so close. Yes, I got it. Our I get any bonuses, Emperor? What? I, I haven't even really checked. I don't, I don't think I do, actually. Well, there it is. Emperor of the World, France. Honestly, I really like that. I, I think I should do this more with other nations. But I can't believe I got this in actually one video. I was expecting to do this over the course of many videos. Like, at least two or three. But I got it in one. I don't know what I'm going to play next. I don't know about the frequency of this series. I think it's just going to, I guess pop up whenever I feel like playing or whenever I have an idea of where I want to play I think so expect the series to be I guess sprinkled in between Imperator Rome and the Formable Nation series I have on Knights of Honor 2 as well anyways I do hope you enjoyed if you did please feel free to hit the like button also comment down below that you did enjoy and uh what other what do you suggest that I play at least don't forget to join my discord as well uh, I have a discord there I think I'm gonna start actually creating a discord suggestions tab where i actually prioritize uh suggestions over uh, discord suggestions over youtube uh suggestions so so you should probably head to the discord and get ready for that if you're new here and you like the content of my channel also please feel free to subscribe anyways it's been alton atg signing out see ya